Hello, this is Lolly. I am back per request to show how I made this little treat box. When I did my video showing how I made this one, I asked if you also wanted to see how I did this and I got several responses saying yes. So let's show you. I'm using the Out for Lunch gift box die set by Tonic Studios. I will give a link down below to that and also to uh, me assembling the other gift box which has more detail in the process of assembling. So what you'll need is two of each of these, two of these, two of these, and two of these. These are all of the panels that go around the sides of this box. And then once you get those cut out, I put, in, and I cut them in black, I put the tall ones aside, and all of the other ones here, I am going to run through my embossing folder of choice. And so I am going to use this one by Cuddlebug, and that's the one that you can see I've used here. And I can run two of these through my embossing folder at one time. I will emboss all these and be back. Okay, I've got all of those done. Now I know in the process of doing this, I may have flipped some around. You can choose how, what direction you want these to go. But I'm looking at the large diamond in each one, and I want that to be puffed up toward me so that I'm consistent. Okay, so they're all that way. Now what I'm using is Gilder's Paste Wax. Now for this one, I only used the Celtic Bronze, but if you use little bits of Pinotage, Patina, and Violet, just in scattered bits gently around your project and then cover the whole thing with Celtic bronze or most of it, you get the look of worn metal. It is beautiful. But for the sake of time, we're just going to use the Celtic bronze on this. You can use your finger or you can use a flat sponge. And I'm not pushing. My goal is to just really get the uh, the top surfaces of my embossing and that's all I need to do. You could use a uh, finger or something else to apply this but if you use this flat surface then you're getting all just the top edges of the embossing. If you use your finger you'll be getting more of the black so it's totally up to you and what kind of look you want to achieve and you can see that if you use here I used colored cardstock and see the difference that that made. And if I use a cream colored cardstock and use this brick pattern and use this pinotage, it looks just like brick. And I could have applied this even more heavily and gotten a different look. Um, the other thing is you can use this on woods. So I used it on these glasses here to make this. Um, you can use it on metal. And so I use this on this because it was a silver color and I wanted it to match my project. You could also use it on plastic. So if anything that you want to create and make it have a metal or a metallic look to it, this is wonderful for that. You could also come back in just a few minutes and just kind of lightly buff it with a rag and it will give it another uh, different appearance. And the other thing is when I'm done, I can leave this sponge in the wax. So I only have a limited quantity of these in my shop. I have four of each of these colors that I've mentioned, but I have more of the Celtic bronze on order. <clears throat> so if you're interested in them, and I will have those probably in about 10 days. Actually, by the time this video gets uploaded, I'll have them in probably in about a week. I went around the very, kind of like taking, you know, a distress. I went around um, the edges here. And I'm only doing the surfaces, the edges that are going to be seen. Like some of these are flaps that are going to go underneath, and I'm not worried about those. Like these are flaps here. So I'm just going to do this top part. I could do the corners once the box is assembled, that would be okay. Okay, so I'm going to take this off and lay it in here, like that. Okay, put those aside. Then all we need to do is assemble this. So I do want to give these a burnish, and these little flaps are going to be burnished away from me.
Okay, now we got that. We're going to adhere the these pieces here. Now, since this is bumpy, you may need to use extra glue. Okay, now for assembly, we are going to take these two here and these two here go this way. I'm going to take the little flap and glue it on the bottom here. And these little flaps go inside like this. So after it's assembled, you could go through and add some of that gold color to the corners here. Okay, now I want to look through my metal pieces and see about getting something for here and um, think about all those vintage keys that you might have so I have a bin here of metal pieces I could use a key and such as this and see how it's rather silver I could add the gold color I want it to go like this I can add that bronze to it Now this has got some kind of a weird coating on it. It's not letting it really adhere well. So it just mutes that um, silver color on it. Okay, so this can be glued right there. I'm just going to use a power tack. Actually, I'm going to put it here. Oops, a little extra. Okay, now what else I did here was I took, I did little black dots here of Nouveau Drops. I used Nouveau Drops and I added a little dot to each corner to make it sort of look like rivets on there. So that was the ebony black and then I added the golden sunset in little dots right here. I could do that right now because I know that this is going to be on its side for a while. If you're not familiar with Nouveau Drops, they're great because they're self-leveling, meaning even if it starts looking like a um, chocolate chip when you put it on, it levels out to be a nice round dot. Now, um, we live in higher altitude, and so I do know that when I buy these drops, I need to let the air pressure out of the bottle when I first get them. Just a heads up. So, let that dry, and there they are. So, very fun. Thank you for watching. Make sure you look at the links down below, and I will give you a link over here in this corner to the Halloween box that I made.